The Senator from Kansas. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice. I submit to the desk a question on my behalf and on behalf of Senator Cornyn. The question from Senator Moran and Senator Cornyn is for counsel to the President. Is it true that in these proceedings that the Chief Justice can rule on the issue of production of exhibits and the testimony of witnesses over the objection of either the managers or the President's counsel? Would a determination by the Chief Justice be subject to judicial review? Mr. Chief Justice, Senators, thank you for the question. And let me uh, answer it this way, lay out my understanding of the process. If we were going to start talking about um, subpoenaing witnesses, subpoenaing documents, having things come into evidence that way, the first question would be subpoenas would have to be issued to the witnesses or for the documents. And if those subpoenas were resisted on the grounds of some privilege or immunity, then that would have to be sorted out. Because if the president asserted, for example, the immunity of a senior advisor to the president or an executive privilege over certain documents, then the Senate would have to determine whether it was going to fight that assertion and how through some accommodation process and negotiation or if the Senate were going to go to court to litigate that. And that whole process would have to play out. That would be the first stage. And that would have to be gone through any time the president resisted the subpoena on the witnesses or documents. That would take a while. That's what the House managers decided not to do in the House of Representatives. Then, once there had been everything resolved on a subpoena or something like that, it sounds like the question asks um, further in terms of questions here in the trial, admissibility of particular evidence. It's my understanding then that the presiding officer, the Chief Justice, could make an initial determination if there were objections to admission of evidence, but that all such determinations can be challenged by the members of the Senate and would be subject to a vote. So it would not be, I think there were some suggestions earlier that we don't need any other courts, we don't need anything, the involvement of anyone else, because the Chief Justice is here. That's not correct. On the subpoenas at the front end, that's not going to be something that's determined just with all respect, sir, to, by the Chief Justice. That's something that would have to be sorted out in the courts or by negotiation with the executive branch. Then once we're here on specific evidentiary objections, if we have a witness and there are objections during depositions that later have to be resolved or by a witness on the stand, if there are objections to particular documents, authentication or things like that, the Chief Justice could make an initial ruling but every one of those rulings could be appealed to this body to vote by a majority vote on whether the evidence would come in or not. And you might have to consider rules, whether you're going to have the federal rules of evidence apply or some modified rules of evidence, and all of that would have to be sorted out. Um, I, I, I don't think that we would get to the stage then of any determinations and evidence here being in any way appealed out to the courts. But that would be a process that this body would have to decide what would be admissible in evidence in the trial. Thank you. Thank you, counsel.